Hello and welcome to DTWG the prep welcome. So in today's video we're going to be looking at how to find the volume of a rectangular prism. So this is a rectangular prism here, it's a diagram for rectangular prism and we're going to find out um, from this question it says calculate the volume of a rectangular prism whose height is 8 inch, 8 inches and whose base area is 90 square inches okay so um the formulas i'm using are from the ged math formula sheets okay not just from any textbook all right so i'll leave the link to download it in um, the video description box of this video okay so the volume to find the uh the volume to find the volume of rectangular prism is what l w h that's length times width times the height well, you can see from this question here, there's no length and width, but there's a base area. I'm going to explain this now with this diagram. Now, the height, 8 inches, the height of a prism is from here to here, okay? While the length is from here to here, L, while the width is from here, okay? This, was, uh, sorry, I'm supposed to draw this line like this. Okay, so this W, while this is L. Okay, so this is the length from here to here is our height, all right? And this length, okay, is the same as, this length and width is the same also as the length and width up here, okay? They are of the same dimension, all right? Okay, remember a rectangle? If there's a rectangular, this rectangular prism has two bases, one base at the top and one underneath, okay? So this base we can see fully. And the base of a rectangular prism has a length and a width. Okay. So from here, they've told us that our height H is 8. Well, what is L and W? From our question, they said the base area is 90 square inches. The base area meaning L times W is equal to 90. That's what it means. L times W is equal to 90 because L times W will give us the base what area. So from here, L times W is what 90 square inches. So we're just putting in our fo formula here, our volume of rectangular prism. Since L and W is 90, we put 90. That's 90 square inch times H, which is 8 what inch. And we're going to finally get our, our volume as what 90 times this will give us 70, uh, 720 and it will be in what inch, what cubic, what inch. Okay, volume is always cubic inch. All right. When you multiply this square inch and this inch, you're going to get what cubic, what inch. So this is our answer. All right. So in some questions, they will give you the length, they'll give you um, the width or some, you know, they want to know your understanding. It's not about knowing the formula, but you have to know the understanding of the shape, every shape. Okay, and I've been explaining it in a series now, geometry series. I'll leave the link to the playlist of the geometry um, series I've been going through, okay, with uh, my students on the DTWG, the prep YouTube channel, okay? So please uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check our website also for summary notes, study guides, free practice questions, GED math formula sheets, which I've all told you earlier on. You can get this at, um, you know, this is the website. And you can also join our Facebook group, 11,000 members in the community to support you, you know, encourage you. If you have questions about the GED in your state, you can drop it in the group. Just join the group. I'll leave all links in the video description box of this video. Okay, and also I offer one-on-one -on -one math tutoring. You can contact me if you're interested in private tutoring. I'll leave my email also in the description box of this video. All right, thank you for staying tuned. And don't forget finally that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ for he is the way is the truth is the life is the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last and also going to give us that life here heaven on earth thank you and see you soon he's waiting for you take care and see you in our next video